Hi, I'm Tom Garrett, Senator from Virginia's 22nd District, and I just want to give our second legislative... A lot update. of great things are happening for the citizens of the 22nd District. Really proud to be slowly but surely moving the ball forward on common sense, eminent domain legislation, and what this is going to do really is put us back to where we were before the Kelo versus New London decision, where we recognize from the Constitution that there won't be takings made of private property without just compensation. And the bill's structured in a way such that when the constitutional amendment's adopted, if there are any problems with the bill, we'll be able to modify the effect of it through the legislature, and that, that really gives us the freedom, I think, to allay the concerns that some of the local governments have had while protecting the property rights of the private citizens of the Commonwealth of Virginia. One gun a month, bill repealing one gun a month has passed out of the House of Delegates, has passed out of the Virginia Senate. They're now cruising towards each other and will cross over. Additionally, on the front for jobs and efficiency in government, the governor's reorganization package passed out of the Senate, actually on a pretty decent bipartisan vote, and that was great to see. What this does, broadly speaking, is consolidates redundant agencies in the government, seeks to streamline and make more efficient and more, uh, more uh, convenient to serve the Virginians' government services, and also saves us literally millions and millions of dollars a year. We've also been blessed this week to have a number of visits from local government. In fact, every single locality in the 22nd District, Louisa, Goochland, Fluvanna, Buckingham, Cumberland, Prince Edward, and Farmville, Appomattox, Amherst, and Lynchburg have had individuals from town councils and boards of supervisors, county administrators, up this week. And it's great for us to get to hear from the leadership and the local governments what's important to them, what bills we need to work on. To that end, one of our primary focuses this General Assembly session, cracking down and removing unfunded mandates, is also going very well. I uh, signed on as a co-patron to Senator Steve Newman's unfunded mandate bill, helped advance the governor's bill, eliminating 18 unfunded mandates. I've had multiple separate bills of our own tackle, to tackle unfunded mandates. One, which would have given localities the option to choose whether to administer SOLs via paper or computer, failed. Uh, another, which eliminates the requirement for rural and small localities to have annual recycling report, which takes, you know, one of only maybe 10 or 20 administrators in the county out of the loop for weeks to prepare a report with which nothing is done, passed out of the Senate 39 to 1, so we're moving forward on that. And all in all, very, very exciting times in Virginia. Great things happening with eminent domain, with one gun a month, with the consolidation and reorganization and the elimination of redundancy in government entities. And I'm just honored and blessed to be here, delighted to get to see so many fine local government officials this week. I encourage you all to visit, whether you're in local government or just a citizen, whether you have school kids or just want to come up by yourself, and let us know what's important to you as we go through this General Assembly session. Once again, I'm honored and humbled with this opportunity to serve you, and I thank you and look forward to speaking with you again next week. Have a great day.